Deadlocks can be so confusing. You're probably installed some kind of monitoring tool that emails you every now and then when you get a deadlock and you're not really sure what to do with them. That's one of the reasons why I love SP Blitzlock. SP Blitzlock is kind of like a slice and dice user interface, like a business intelligence piece for your deadlocks that gives you a picture of what's been going on overall across the server to help you spot trends. That has three result sets. The top result set is an itemized list of deadlocks. The second result set is any execution plans that happen to be in cache involving deadlocks. Honestly, my favorite part is the very last result set. The very last result set is the summary, and it has all kinds of things like which objects have been involved in the most deadlocks, which tables, which indexes, which stored procedures, if it, there, those are available. If it's entity framework code, you can get links to SP Blitz Cache to go see that exact particular query. Generally speaking, the way that I use SP Blitz Lock is I look for the tables that have had the most locks, deadlocks, and I try to right size their indexes. If you have too many indexes, then every time you insert, update, or delete, SQL Server's got to go grab locks across all those indexes in order to keep them in sync. Too many deadlock or too many indexes will cause deadlocking because of grabbing all those locks. Not enough indexes will also cause deadlocking if SQL Server has to scan the whole object in order to find the rows that it needs. Generally speaking, I aim for around five or less indexes per table with around five or less columns on each index. And I go into more specifics about that guideline, not a rule, just a guideline, over in my uh, uh, Fundamentals of Index Tuning and my Mastering Index Tuning classes. So the first thing that I do with SP Blitzlock data is look at those tables. The second thing that I do is I look at the queries that are involved of most of the deadlocks. And then I go try to tune those queries to work through objects in the same order every time, keep my transactions as short and sweet as possible. Generally, what you find with SP Blitzlock is a lot of your deadlocks probably just have one table in common or one query in common. SP Blitzlock's summary of all those details helps you figure out which in table that is and which query it is so you can focus on just that one in order to get pain relief. If you don't have the time to go through that, and I totally understand deadlocks can be really confusing, feel free to go to brentozar.com and click Consulting up at the top of the screen. I specialize in helping people solve hard performance problems. But otherwise, give this a shot and see if it will get you across the finish line.